We are now inside the Basilique du Saint-Martin, uh, or the Basilica of St. Martin. We're going to walk through the church uh, from the 16th century, and we'll see the replication or duplication of the sarcophagus of the Bishop of Liège, who was cured of lupus. Follow me. See, these windows are from the 16th century. The deacon was telling us that the, in Vatican I, the priest would be way up there, and the congregation. Uh, well, before Vatican II. Before Vatican II. He was way up there and the congregation was way back there. Wanna see the back? scenes of St. Martin. And these are the chairs that the monks used to sit in. And in the French Revolution, they came and they destroyed the main church here in Liège. Um, and they also got rid of all the monks and this order of the monks doesn't survive anymore since this is a basilica this is actually a sword of the swiss guard since the pope named this a basilica and the swiss guard is to, to protect this basilica and over here's the sarcophagus of the bishop from the 10th century who was cured of this to reconstruction In the back, you'll see Leodium, that's the old Latin word for Liege. You can get it real high so you can see that. This is the sarcophagus of the Bishop of the Edge. And this is the tomb of the Bishop of Erakla. And he died in 971 AD. He developed lupus in the year 959 AD. He built this church in 963 AD. These are relics. I believe they might, they're probably the bones of Saint Agnet, Agnet, Agnetus, A G N E T I S. So here's the sarcophagus again. 